Hey everybody, so today we are working on something called Leno Lace for our Funky Fresh Scarf. So what we're gonna do is twist our fabric. Go ahead and put our pickup stick there. So the way we achieve this is we can actually make it different sizes if we want. Um, we could do multiple threads or just what I'm doing right now where it's just a couple at a time. So I am actually picking up two threads at a time. And that's because we have this warped at a 20 ends per inch, but I'm using a 10 dent heddle. So I have two threads in every slot and every hole of the loom right now. So every time I just pick up from one slot or one hole, it is actually picking up two threads. So the reason we do this is because it creates the twist, which is gonna create that gap that we want for the lace and that look. So as I, you see, I pick up what was in the slot, I pull what's in the hole over it and twist and put that on the pickup stick. Pick up, pull, twist, pick up, pull, twist. So let me see what's happening here. Oop, I picked up both. So let me just slide my hand in there to hold these threads up because I know that's the ones I want up. I'm gonna pull this back. And then I'm gonna fix this. That's the importance of checking your work. Boop. And now look. I can just slide it back in. Boop. I've already got all the threads. Double check. Beautiful. Nice twist. All the way. Okay. Now I can just go ahead and pass my little shuttle through. Pick this up so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Pass my little shuttle through. Go ahead and pull that in. Okay, and pull that up. And here is the second pass. So you do the first pass. Now the second pass gives you the second row of lace for free. You don't have to retwist because you've still got the twist in the lace. Now this next pass would actually be plain. Got a nice little plain weave there. And if we continue, we will get another plain weave. But if we put it back down, we can again create another twist and have a little bit more lace. I actually want to push this down a little bit more than I did. So I'm going to push it down by hand because I want it to be a little bit further. There we go. I like that more. What do you think? I like that more. It feels a little bit more balanced. Now, we can twist the same way again, or we can twist the opposite direction and get a different look. So 
Ooh, because I am. Okay, sorry. I have to think about that because I am right-handed. And this is making me have to think. Like, ooh, which way do I put the stick in? <laughs> Can I twist? Uh, apparently, I use my left hand to twist because I don't even know how to twist with my right. I'm like, eh. Okay. Now, which side did I? Okay, let me try this again in my mind. I'm pulling that side over, and this side under. Okay. Sorry, I did get it to wrap around my mind on what I'm doing with my fingers differently. So I'm going to twist in the opposite direction this time. So it's a different string. It's the ones in the slots on top this time of the stick instead of the ones in the holes. So let's see. I'm just pushing it under and over, under and over. Now this is a project, if you're following along on the tutorial, you will likely be able to copy at home. If you guys would like me to make a pattern, I can. Right now, I have about, this is a 8-2 cotton that I'm using. See, boom, boom, boom. Super pretty. Right there. Pass it through. Boom. Beautiful. This is going to be so pretty. Sorry, I shook the camera there. Try to shake it a little less. There we go. That's about where I want it. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll do a couple passes of plain weave, just up and down. So since I twisted the other way, I actually should have done a down shed first. <gasps> Oopsie. Down shed. I was like, where is my free lace? There it is. There it is. There we go. Nice little secondary twist right there. That's beautiful. Again, let's balance it a little bit. And of course, when we wash it, it'll even out a little bit more. But I just like to pull it a little bit. Because I like to know where it's going to go in my mind. Now we'll do a couple rows of plain weave. Uh, I'm actually going to do four total because that feels better. I dropped my shuttle boat. My shuttle. Use my toes to pick it up. So now we've got the lace set into place how we want it. 
and we have just a little bit of linen lace right here and you can see it's going in the two different directions which i think is fun and that is how you do linen lace